This might be the biggest crisis Facebook has ever faced. On a scale of one to 10, this breach of trust with your users, where would you put it? Well, we'd put it at the very top of any scale because we take any breach of trust with users that seriously. It's a 10. We have a responsibility to protect people's data and we have a responsibility for people to know that they can trust using our services so whether it happens to one person whether it happens to a lot of people whether it's on the front page of the newspaper or it just happens to one person that's always a 10. It's a, a, a huge breach is it greed was it incompetence when you think big picture what went wrong but what we weren't focused enough on was protecting because that same data that you enable to use social experiences can also be misused. Let's talk about Cambridge Analytica. This first came to Facebook's attention in December 2015. That's mm -hmm. two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And only now is Facebook taking these serious steps that you've announced this week. What is the reason it took so long? You, you could have done all of this two and a half years ago. You were right that we could have done this two and a half years so ago. So why didn't you? Because we thought that the data had been deleted and we should have checked. You are right about that. What Why we're didn't doing now, check? we thought it had been deleted because they gave us assurances and it wasn't until other people told us it wasn't true. But, but why go on but faith here's with someone who's already violated you know, in spirit, if not in the letter, well, of Facebook's principles? We had legal assurances from them that they deleted. What we didn't do was the next step of an audit, and we're trying to do that now. But many have asked why Facebook didn't tell users their data was taken since they found out back in 2015. We thought the data had been deleted. That's why. But that doesn't mean you don't tell the users, hey, this was stolen from you. Yes, you're right, and we should have done that. We should have done that as well. Because it feels like Facebook was trying to get away with it. Um, I don't think that's true, but of course you're right, and we should have done that. So let's fast forward to now. Do you think there could be other breaches like the one we saw in Cambridge Analytica, where tens of millions of people's data was accessed improperly. We're doing an investigation, we're gonna do audits, and yes, we think it's possible, that's why we're doing the audit. This week we announced we're shutting down some of the ways groups, events, pages, other parts of our product use data. Now, a lot of these have quite good use cases, but we're making a big shift here, and it's a shift we're making to make sure that we are more protective People say that we're the product, our data, that's the product you're selling. And that's not true. So here's how our business works. We don't sell data ever. We do not give personal data to advertisers. People come onto Facebook, they want to do targeted ads, and that's really important for small business. But people want to show ads, we take those ads, we show them, and then we don't pass any individual information back to the advertiser. You don't have to pass it because you collect all the information and then you target the ads for the advertisers. That's the service that's right. that you charge the advertisers that's for. That's right, and that's a very good service. That's a privacy protective good service. Could you come up with a tool that said, I do not want Facebook to use my personal profile data to target me for advertising? There's, Could you have an opt out button? Please don't use my profile data for advertising. We have different forms of opt out. We don't have an opt out at the highest level. That would be a, a, a paid product. Mark is going to be text testifying before Congress. What's Facebook's message to Congress? And do you think Mark needs to apologize in that very public setting? Mark has apologized, and I know he's, he's prepared to apologize in any situation where we have responsibility. Mark's message to Congress is that he wants to be there to answer all of their questions, and he wants to tell them the steps we're taking. A cynic would look at this and say, Facebook could have done all of this, every single step, a long time ago, and not until its stock started tanking, did Facebook start taking it seriously. You care about privacy now because it's hitting the bottom line hard. Well, we cared about privacy all along, but I think we got the balance wrong. So thinking about social experiences, you are able to connect with your friends, you're able to see your friends' playlist, as I mentioned. Those are really good things. That involves sharing data. In all of these areas, there are the good cases for sharing data. And I think we were very idealistic and not rigorous enough. And then there's the possible misuse. And what we are focused on is making sure those possible use cases get shut down. Savannah, I am not gonna sit here and say that we're not gonna find more, because we are.
So our conversation continued. It was fascinating. We were at Facebook headquarters, yeah. and you know this is probably the biggest crisis to hit Facebook. And in our next hour, I ask. I mean, you have a big problem, and most organizations heads roll right. when something like this happens. So um, we talk about leadership of the company, her leadership, Mark Zuckerberg's it, leadership. It sounds like Facebook is fairly certain that there's more out there. It, it feels like they, 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 what they don't know. Yeah. They really don't know. And she said, now we're doing the audit. We're doing the spade work. Now we're going to find out. And they are making a lot of significant changes. Okay. So uh, we'll continue to follow it. And there's a lot more coming. Fascinating conversation indeed. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.